where our letter D is. If you take that into account with the other activity that's striking over to the west, if you take into account Iran, which is swarming out with twos and threes, and you take into account Turkey, which is swarming out with twos and threes, this makes sense that a four just struck at the Greece border with Macedonia again. So let's just open that up. They downgraded it, of course, by half magnitude, as always. But here we are. They call it at the Aegean Sea. It's not, on, it's not in the Aegean Sea, guys. It's on land. So anyways, 4.0 struck there. Italy, you are primed. Now I need to turn on the Italian feed. Hopefully the Italian agency is working. Yep, Italian's working. Good. All right. Now the Italian agency is showing the swarm at Norcia is still carrying on. It's about the same size that it has been for the last several weeks at this point. And every time pressure is introduced back into the central area in Italy, we see two things occur. We see the swarm increase in size. We'll see it uh, double or triple in size from where it is now. And we will also see an accompanying larger earthquake mixed in with the swarm. And I'm going to zoom in here. And I want you to look at the progression of earthquakes. This is just today. Look what's going on here. We're actually creeping down to the south at this point. And this is troubling to me because I hate to, you know, panic anyone or anything, but the progression down to the south means that it's creeping towards more populated, well-populated, well-known areas. And I'm going to go show you those areas right now. So let's go over to Google Earth and we will zoom in on the area. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this. Yeah, okay. Good. Okay, as we zoom in on the area, whoops. Okay, had my screens backed up there for a second, guys. Sorry, this is live. This is how it goes. Okay, so here's our area in Italy. Uh, the whole mountain range, the Abruzzo. I'll turn off the roads for a second so we can get a better look. Um, basically, the whole portion of eastern Italy over towards the Aegean Sea. This whole region right in here has experienced a massive amount of movement. But now the earthquakes are creeping down to the east by southeast. And we go as far north. Let me show you where Norcia is, okay? So we get a better bearing. Okay, here's Norcia. And this is the spot where our swarms are occurring. Well, if we go down to the east by southeast, or I'm sorry, east by southeast and then to the west let's get back over and look at the earthquakes see this so we have a creeping out going out gone right now creeping out the earthquakes are creeping out from the swarm location down to the east southeast then going due south then going a little bit west you see that it's like making a hook shape okay well let's make a hook shape from norcia and see where it's going do you see this do you see where the earthquakes are heading right now well, as it stands right now, the earthquakes are heading more towards, well, I hate to say it, but towards east of Rome, uh, over towards, I guess that's Piscina. I don't know the name of this town here, but I mean, when you look, it's going into more populated areas. And if it carries on in a hook formation, let's say it carries in a full hook, well, or a crescent, let's call it, I mean, I don't know what to call it, a dome shape, a U shape. Okay, from Norcia, make a U shape. And where does that take us if the earthquakes were to carry on? I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist. It takes you into Rome. Now, are the earthquakes going to progress into Rome? I sure hope not. I sure hope not. Now, it wouldn't make sense for it to unless there's a connecting fault zone that I don't know of right there. There might be. I don't have a fault map for... Italy. But I can tell you, just looking at the mountain ranges here, it wouldn't surprise me if there was some kind of fault that was down below the river, I guess, or the mountain gorges that go from Casaluccio all the way down to, let's say, Vasia. I mean, I don't, I don't know any of these towns, but it looks like there's a single depression here. There could be a fault zone that connects. And if there's a fault zone that connects, and again, this is a big if, I don't know. I'm going to have to go do more research, but it means that if there's a progression of earthquakes that goes down towards Rome, 
the last thing we want to see is a large release in Rome, even at the four range. Because a four range earthquake in Rome, due to the way that the structure of the ground is, due to the buildings, due to, we know mid range four earthquakes took down chimneys and knocked facades off houses in Oklahoma. Well, imagine what that's going to do to stone structures that haven't moved in a while with any noteworthy earthquake. So, I want you to know, I'm watching in Rome, around Rome, for the next five days. This is one of the longer watches I'm going to put on it, just because I don't know how long or if the pressure will carry on down towards Roma itself. Okay? So, as we're watching right now, it still stands that there should be a new upper 4.7, 4.8 back near Nursia. But if the earthquakes carry down towards Rome, that could bring Rome into the mix, off of the plate boundary, with a connecting adjacent fault of some kind. And I don't take this warning lightly, because, look, when I issue warnings for Italy, I take it serious, guys. We had lives that were saved and affected by my warning that was issued. Many people don't know this that are in here right now, new people. Look guys, you go back a couple months and a very deep earthquake struck down south of Rome out here in the sea, in this area called the Tyrrhenian Sea. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in on it here. It's where the bottom arrow um, bottom is. And a deep, deep 5.8 hit. We hardly ever see deep earthquakes over in Italy to begin with. So a very deep, very large 5.8 hit and I got on and I issued a warning and I said, watch out to the north. And I pointed right to this area where it hadn't been struck yet. And I said, watch out to the north of this deep earthquake. This means central Italy, northeast of Rome. Be on watch for a 6.8 to 7.8 earthquake. And that would have been unprecedented because it's been, you know, years since there's been any large earthquake like that here in central Italy. And I put the video out on YouTube. I'm not bragging. I put the video out on YouTube and told everybody, watch out here for the next two days. The next day, a 7 point, now they downgraded it, but I think it started out at 7.4 and they downgraded it to like 7.1 or something. But it was the largest earthquake in decades hitting the day after the deep earthquake hit and we issued the warning. Well, guess what? Some of the people there got the warning and they actually had their stuff ready to go by the door when it hit, and they got out of Dodge. Nobody died. And it, they also spread the word around for the day leading up to the earthquake. So in 24 hours' time, word got out to the locals. Some people slept in their cars, and people said, how did you know to sleep in your car? They got the warning. That's amazing. It's a huge story. So um, you know, the way I can look at it is that this is serious and I take the warning serious. So if Rome is in the mix or it's looking like it's going towards Rome at all, we have to tell you what it means. It means that either it's going to stop here, right where it's creeping down to, and we'll see some new excitement going down to where this 2.1 is on the map. You can barely see it. There it is. But the potential does exist that it could carry on in that formation, which brings it right back down into Rome if the hook carries its trajectory right now, okay?